and welcome again to Facebook Live where we're making uh, the Sunday lunch today. Although I'm doing it on a Sunday, I do think Sunday lunch, you know, you should make an effort and have some nice uh, meat and veg. Uh, but this is more of a quick evening, weekday uh, thing and we're going to make a cottage pie and we're going to make a 400 calorie one. So um, I'm going to change the normal recipe because what I would recommend is to have maybe a sweet potato topping, something like that. But what I'm doing today is that I've got some uh, carrot and some swede in there boiling away. Now the reason I'm going for a lower calorie topping is because I prefer to use turkey thigh mints. So you can get breast mints which is 2% fat. This is 7% fat. Now the reason that I like to use this is because of the taste, the flavour. It really does taste nice. Um, obviously chicken breast mints is also nice but again you don't quite get those flavours like in the turkey mint. So this is why I'm having the thigh mint um, and as I said I'm having a really low calorie swede and carrot topping. So this is the simple recipe how to do this. So I'm frying off in here uh, some chopped onions. You can see that was a very very large onion and all I'm going to do is add in the turkey mint. Now this is 750 grams so it is quite a large portion this will go between four people uh, this meal and oh I didn't put that in very elegantly <laughs> did I? Um, it goes between four people and you're talking about 400 calories um, for each portion so just sprinkle that in and of course at this stage it is vital to wash your hands so I'll let Annie do a close-up of the pan why I just wash my hands over here. Great. And all we're going to do is just brown that off with the onions. I've got it on a nice low heat so you don't want to burn anything, so keep it nice and low. Um, and as that's, when that's all browned through the meat, then all I'm going to add, if you want to pop some mushrooms in, this is the time to add the mushrooms. I haven't got any left because I use them all for breakfast. And then the only other two things that I'm going to add, guys, is a can of passata. So this is passata. If you haven't got passata um, or you don't know what it is and where to find it, um, just use a tin of chopped tomatoes. And then the other thing I'm going to add is some vegetable stock. So it's a vegetable stock cube um, just with a little bit of boiling water. So I'm going to have that and that. And that is going to be my sauce. And that's it, guys. No other ingredients. So after that's cooked, uh, that's, after that's all in, I'm going to simmer it for about 10 minutes. I'm going to pop it in an oven proof dish. Then I'm going to chop, mash up my carrot and sweet, put that on the top, bang it in the oven, 200 degrees for about 20 minutes and voila. That is my 400 calorie cottage pie, uh, which is not only tasty, but also very low in calories. Uh, now my other little cheat as well that I really love to do, especially on a Sunday, is to get me soup maker out. This is Helen's lovely soup maker. It's still warm. I want to put my hands all around it and keep myself warm. Um, and what I've done, I popped to Morrison's and I saw yesterday um, they do these vegetable soup kits. Obviously, it's very easy to do this, but if you are rushing in time and for just a pound, you can throw this into the soup maker. Um, all you need to do is add one of, again, one of the vegetable stock cubes. Now, I have already, there is one in there, and in this bowl is the carrot and coriander one. So look how delicious that is. Um, and one of these bags makes four portions, and that works out as 50 calories. Just 50 calories for a really delicious, hot, lovely, fresh soup. I'm so that is the Sunday dinner today. And as Helen said, works out as 25p for a nice, fresh soup. Helen, are you looking forward to your Sunday lunch? I'm still full up from my breakfast. <laughs> She's still full up from her breakfast because she had so many pro so much protein. So that's it for uh, today. Uh, for more of the recipes and our weekly newsletter, go to journeybunting.com and subscribe to the newsletter. Bye for now.